Hello everyone and welcome back to Mitwa where I, Madhurima Sapati of Freedom Soul Coach coming all the way from India who loves to help people, change makers, especially coaches move from being burnt out to a place where they are thriving because we are here to survive. No, we are not. We are here to thrive. We are not here to survive. We are here to thrive. I am excited. Let's go into today's topic which is a very personal episode on why am I so passionate about burnout or helping people move through it, right? Let's go. Now, I have put up a video about this, about why am I a burnout coach, but today I wanted to focus on one thing and this can be a reminder to anyone who subscribed recently to this channel, anyone who's seeing this anywhere crop up on social media, here's why burnout is something that I don't necessarily hate, but I have very intense feelings about. And it's because burnout prevents us from doing the thing that we love to do the most. It prevents us from sharing our perspective. How does burnout do this? Burnout is not necessarily something that just crops up and happens to you in an instant. It is something that is caused by different stresses that you have been experiencing over a long period of time. One of the stress which we all must have gone through by now is the imposter syndrome, right? What the imposter syndrome does is it prevents us from speaking up from being our authentic self because we feel that we are at fault for showing up authentically. We feel that we are at fault for doing the work that we are doing. And it adds so much stress to ourselves because by default, there is a friction. And I have spoken about this and I'll speak about it for the rest of my life. There is a friction between what our soul wants and what our body or our mind is or our ego is telling us to do which is basically don't do it something bad will happen you're gonna go into the unknown no one knows what's going to happen don't do it so there's this friction which adds a lot of stress on us but at the end of the day i know this is a very short video but i just wanted to remind you guys that we are all very very powerful beings no matter if you're a coach no matter if you're a creator no matter if you are an entrepreneur, no matter what kind of change you're planning on creating in the world, it starts with you. There could be 100 people doing the same exact thing that you are doing, but you have a different kind of an impact as do all of them. We all bring our unique flavor, our personality to the game, right? We all have different preferences. We have all come from different regions different situations, different upbringings. So we all show up differently. We could be doing the same exact thing and we would be showing up differently. And there's magic in that. You need to realize the fact that your voice has an impact. I said this recently in one of the ex podfest expos that I was speaking as a podfest speaker that the reason why podcasts are so powerful and everyone who's podcasting right now is in such a powerful position is because they realize the fact that their voice is important, that they are in the room where it happens, right? They are in the room where the change happens because they are the ones bringing the change. And oftentimes we kind of dismiss our own self and our own knowledge because we have heard us because we have heard ourselves say it a lot of times, right? You might have noticed this a lot with mentors, a lot with spiritual people, a lot with anyone in a high level position, right? I'm not saying that spiritual people and mentors are in a high level position, but they have experienced significantly more than we have in particular aspects of life. So when they say something that is pretty normal to them, but is something that shifts our entire perspective. We are like, oh, shit, that was dope. Why did I not think about this like that? The amount of impact it has on you, it doesn't have the same amount of impact on them because it has already had an impact on them. They have had that impact and they have heard themselves 
and followed that rule a lot of times, followed that statement a lot of times. But when you first hear it, it shifts your perspective. So for them, that one sentence might not have enough impact, but for you, it does. It has a lot of impact. That's why you probably see people like Gary V speak about patience, speak about how time is not running out for everyone to take it one step at a time, to take risks if you are young, to focus on the things that you love to do and everything else will follow. This is stuff that he says on the regular. And while he might be aware of the impact, it might not be impactful enough for him as much as it is for you who's listening to it for the very first time. So here's the deal. A lot of people are experts in different areas of their life. And you are an expert at something that's so uniquely you that has been brought up because of your circumstances, because of the, your upbringing, because of everything that you went through, that the way you say it can affect and impact someone else's life. I have experienced this a lot of times with my coach, Preston Smiles. He says things in the going and I'm just like, holy shit, I didn't, I did not see that coming. Wow, what a beautiful perspective, Right. That's why I love to have conversations with people is because something that might be a very normal thing for them is something that's very impactful for me who's hearing it for the first time. So you need to realize that the work that you're doing, no matter how loudly your imposter syndrome shouts at you, is powerful. Your voice is powerful. The work that you're doing is powerful. You are the change makers. And burnout is basically preventing you from showing up and sharing that at its full power, right? Like you could still be showing up, you could still be doing the work, you could still be burning the midnight oil, but it might not be as effective as it could be, which is why I'm passionate about helping people, right? But it's not just that. A lot of times the things that you'd love to do the transformations that you love to create for people, the changes that you love to bring about in people, it can burn you out. Like literally, not just burn out in terms of the fact burnout, but it can burn you out emotionally, mentally, and physically. It can lead to exhaustion. It can lead to anger towards the very thing that you love to do. And it breaks you emotionally, right? It's, it's just a very bad place to be in. Speaking from personal experience, I love to write. But my experience at that one ad agency at the end of 2019 shifted my life because I started to hate writing. It, it led to so much disgust for me that, Ugh, is, this what I'm is this what I'm doing? Is, is writing my entire life now? And I just hated it. And I hated the fact that I hated it because I loved writing like, I was making money writing like what the damn hell I was doing such a good job. I was doing something that I was passionate about. I should be happy about this, but I wasn't. I was stressed out. I hated myself for being stressed out. I hated myself for feeling depressed. I thought I was a crybaby. I thought I was broken. I thought I was someone who was quitting when things were getting good. I thought I was someone who was messed up in the brains messed up in the mind because I should be enjoying this and I'm not which means there's something wrong with me there were a lot of other negative thoughts that came up and it was not a good place to be in I had constant panic attacks constant anxiety attacks because of this I was constantly depressed because of that one experience and it broke me I almost didn't try it right? Like I hated the fact that I was writing stuff and I hated, oh, I love to express myself by writing and I wasn't ex able to express myself for the three months that I was burnt out and the following one and a half years, because I was still kind of reeling from the effects of burnout that I was like, this is something that people need to be aware about which is why I'm passionate about the work that I do, which is why I love to create awareness about the work that I do. It's because burnout can eat you alive. But it's not the end. You can come out of it. No matter how severe a burnout, you can come out of it. So here's me extending an offer. 
if you are going through burnout reach out to me i would love to help you and support you in this journey i have a special container called arham which is a pay what you want so all you have to do is show up and we'll walk together in that container to support you in the best way possible and to help you move through your burnout you deserve to share your voice you deserve to share your perspective and you deserve to create the change you want to see in the world it starts with you you are important don't let that stress you out it's not supposed to stress you out you are doing some amazing work so don't put the entirety of the burden of everything that you want to create on yourself i know it feels very counterintuitive to the points that i was just making but i want you to remind you that you are unique you are important but it doesn't have to be all you you can share that burden you can achieve your goals you can be a highly ambitious person and still achieve all the things that you want to achieve in a healthy way in a way that supports you that nourishes you and nurtures you that nurtures the fire inside of you rather than burning it out you got this if you are going through burnout or if you feel that you might be burning out reach out to me i'll see you in the next video and with that i'll take my leave i'll see you in the next video bye